Sigmund Freud, an Austrian neurologist, a sharp thinker and keen insight, founder of psychoanalysis and modern psychology. He was classified in the category of 10 great philosophers. Freud's theory of the unconscious is necessary to understand what a human is. Psychoanalysis for Freud is the psychology of the human depths. Freud believed in the existence of a permanent conflictual relationship between man and his surroundings, specifically between the desires and instincts of a man on one side and the demands and prohibitions of the world that surrounds him on the other side. When we came into the world, we expressed our physical and psychological needs and everything that bothered us simply and directly. While we were babies, if we don't drink milk, we cry. If we get wet, we cry. But when we grow up, we gradually learn to moderate our desires and adapt to the rules of the world around us. Since our childhood, we find ourselves in the face of the moral assumptions and prohibitions of adults and the surroundings. And thus, we are dragged behind us as we enlarge all these assumptions and moral prejudices and they end up becoming a part of us and this is what Freud calls the ideal ego or ID. And the conscious is part of it. Because of education and society, we have a feeling of guilt that affects everything related to sex. And sex is a basic necessity like breastfeeding a child and from here the eternal conflict arises between desire and guilt. Freud's term unconscious is an expression of what we have suppressed and brought back inside. That is those thoughts and things we have endeavored to forget because they are perverted and rejected. When the consciousness or the ideal ego rejects a certain desire, we bind it to the lower floor of the unconscious mind. The suppressed sense or pent up thoughts are always trying to rise again from the subconscious to the consciousness, and there are always slips of the tongue. And thus, the subconscious reactions lead our feelings and actions. For example, there's a worker in a factory who had to drink his chief toast cup on one occasion. And this worker and his comrades didn't like this chief and always describe him as a scoundrel. The worker raised the cup and declared in a festive voice, let us now drink the toast of our dear scoundrel. In fact, the worker said what he was thinking without having any intention of saying that. Slip of the tongue, our speech errors, reveal our biggest secrets without our awareness. Another example, the family of cleric was waiting to visit the bishop and the man had an incredible long nose. So the cleric recommended his daughters to stay calm and polite, not to make any note about the guest's nose or look at him. During the presence of the guest, the girls could only and constantly thinking about the guest's long nose and they made an effort not to look at him. And when one of them came to serve him sugar with coffee, she politely asked him, do you want a little sugar with your nose? And again, she said what she was thinking without any awareness. So justification in Freud's opinion, it is that we give all the justifications to justify our actions in front of ourselves and in front of others for the simple reason that it's very difficult to admit the real reason. We often attribute to others feelings and thoughts that we have suppressed within us. We may find a miserly person who draws attention to miserliness in others. Just as we find a woman who is shy about admitting her great interest in sex, so she describes others as being obsessed with sex. You cannot, and no matter how hard you make, to avoid slips of the tongue and the exit of words and pent up sense from the subconscious to consciousness. And the best way is not to make any effort to suppress it, just let it spontaneously.